Welcome, welcome to the trap. All right, man. And welcome to the trap. trap. J O N, you ready to get this started? Cause look, I gotta ring the bell and let us know the black market is open. We here, we here, we here. <laughs> I had to keep it going because it's that time of the month. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's always it's that time of the month. That time of the month. <laughs> now look, I don't have much commentary on the subject today. I'm gonna do a lot of listening. There you go. This is not my area of expertise <laughs> at all. My man. Uh, well, first of all, we have Milan and Demon Crump today in the trap. All right. The owners and creator of Jewel Pads. Mm -hmm. Give me some game. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know nothing about this. Well, a lot of people, man, they're blown away when they find out a man is behind a, a, a female product like this. But a uh, very intimate female product. Absolutely, absolutely. But obviously, uh, females have cycles every month. Mm. Women have cycles every month. So uh, that's one of the things we wanted to get into in our entrepreneur endeavors. We wanted to get in the necessity field. You know, something that you didn't have to keep reselling over and over again. And we created a better mousetrap for uh, women and young girls monthly that's on their cycles and that wear panty liners. Uh, because our products contain a Nobel Prize winning material, our absorbency system. And we've had a lot of success because we demonstrate and we show people how good it is versus telling them. Mm. And that's been our secret sauce that's been putting us over the hump. Uh, secret sauce. Us. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, man. So it's been a blessed business, man. Bad, man. How did this come about? Well, actually, um, uh, some guys called me to come to Tampa. You know, I'm always looking for new ideas, investments. And they called me and they said, man, you need to come see this. The best thing they could have done, they never told me what it was. So I'm glad they didn't because I wouldn't have went. If they had mm. told me sanitary napkins, man, come on, I'm gonna hang up the phone. And they said, just trust me, come see this. So I went down to Tampa, Florida, and um, when they pulled out the pad, I was about to get up and walk out. Because obviously I got a wife and three daughters, so I'm familiar with uh, you know, sanitary napkins. And some say, stay here and watch. They did the demonstration, blew me away. I said, we just changed the world for women. When I saw that demo of the product, we took it, and we never looked back ever since, man. It took things to the next level with it. <laughs> you never been lost for words, man. I've been watching your I mean, show now. I, I, this is education for me. Yeah, man. So it's been really, really good with it, man. <laughs> I never expected this. Yeah. This, this is crazy. It's surprising because a lot of people don't realize that First of all, uh, women are your biggest consumers. That's number one. And when you have a product, a necessity product that's catered to women, mm. you got a grand slam. Okay. And especially something that helps keep them comfortable and dry right. uh, during that time of month. And actually, even my mother, for example, my mother is 81 years old, uh, but she wear our panty liners every day. See, these are things that they do, and this has been a truly corporate-dominated space. Mm. You know, your big major... Fortune 500 company. I mean, literally, they make billions of dollars off of sanitary napkins and panty liners. As and as minorities, uh, nobody would have ever thought to look in this arena. Right. So right now, we are the only 100% African American-owned sanitary napkin and panty liner company in the world. Right now. Yeah, in the oh, world, man. Oh shit. <laughs> in the world right now, man. So we kind of carved out our space in it. What's uh, the difference? Well, the difference is we have a, a Nobel Prize winning material called graphene. Mm. Uh, the two gentlemen that discovered graphene in 2004, they won the Nobel Prize for it in 2010. So people thought we were losing our mind. Like, dude, you, you putting a Nobel Prize winning material in something women going to discard and get rid of, but they underestimated 
the lives of these women out there, man, because a lot of our, our wives, our daughters, our granddaughters, we don't realize what they go through monthly. Like for me, as an example, as a man, if I be transparent, my wife handled all that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about what she went through, my daughters went, you know, as a man, you know, we waiting on, girl, come on, when you gonna be finished? You know, waiting on that little week to go by or whatever the case may be. And it wasn't until I got educated when I started going all around the country, all around the world, I've been to Jamaica, Jamaica, Trinidad, and I'm talking about in terms of doing what we call focus groups. And I started understanding what these women and these young girls going through, it was bringing tears to my eyes. And I'm like, man, they're literally out there destroying our women. For example, in the United States alone, man, we have 600,000 hysterectomies that are done every year on average. The majority of them black women because now doctors can't figure out why they cramp so bad and different things that they do. So they're literally just yanking these kids and these children wounds out. They can't have kids, but it's all because of the chemicalization of these tampons and sanitary napkins that they have on the shelves. Mm. After we've done our research and, and doctors have educated us. So now for us, man, we are godsend for a lot of women. I mean, the testimonies, the business that we're getting is mind blowing on now we've changed the game for them because now they do have a better solution and they don't have to go through the silent suffering that they deal with on a monthly basis, man. Mm. What's this box you got right here? That's right there. It's just a, a sample box of our product, meaning that, you know, uh, in terms of how it looks, it have our branding and our logo on it. Uh, and obviously we have product for the audience and, you know, you, if you have a woman in your life that you love and care about, to bring home to them. I don't know uh, what so size pussy she wear, though. He said, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to put it out. No, 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 I'm going to show you. And, and it, it, this is our packaging. We got, we got to show the packaging now. <laughs> We got to show the packaging now. We and that's another thing too. We wanted to make sure we did a first class job and stand out in terms of our look. I mean, this is beautiful. Everything this that we have is real nice. You know, so we have our, uh, you know, that's that's our best seller. You hold it. That's the top seller right there. The moderate flow. Which is called our moderate flow. That's this what is I got. Panty liners without wings. <laughs> no, this is what. Keep panty it liners with wings. And light, you feel me? Heavy flow, and the women call these the Wakandas. This is this our this overnight. Oh, Big, I, long, I thought, yeah. You know, when you did this, I was like, that's, no, for, no, no. that's for them 350. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That right there is a, a pad that really does well. This ain't, this is good. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. So we, we blessed with our success as a company. We just opened up a brand new 14,000 square foot headquarters in McDonald, uh, Georgia on the south side. Yeah, man, we've, um, we launched the company uh, June 1st, 2019, and on a six dollar product, uh, we've done over seven million in revenue, man. That was so and, uh, man. So we're blessed, brother. We ble yes, sir, I'm man. We're blessed that. with I'm it, man. Yes. What's up, man, lady? What you doing? Um, you know, just here. You just hit it. <laughs> Learning to. You here to support your baby. Yes. yes <laughs> that was up. But that's the president of logistics, man. She get everybody their product, uh, all the women, because currently, right now, uh, we've serviced over 500,000 women so far. Let me in the get United my States. Shark Tank on. So, so who's, who's your biggest, who's your biggest customer right now? Biggest customer? I'm glad biggest you asked. Customer. You won't believe it. I will. You ready? You sure? I, you, I will. you think so? It's the Amish community. Word. Yeah. <laughs> the Amish. 65% of our revenue come from the Amish. Yes, we've been up there. How did four this? Times. How did y'all make the connection? Well, there's actually an African brother, and that's another thing. That's another fun fact. We have more men ambassadors of this product than we do women. Mm. So an African man, his wife used the product uh, up in Centerville, Michigan. They had some Amish connected connections with some of the influential people in the Amish community. They went, gave them samples of the product. The women used it, came back, figured, hey, we need to get your CEO, the guy up here. They brought me up there, had a room full of Amish women, did the demonstration, shared the vision man blew up like wildfire and um they have just they purchased i'm talking about they purchased twenty five thousand packs ten thousand packs five it's ridiculous how much of this product that they buy and they back and they get behind us but the majority of our revenue comes from the amish 65 percent currently right now and we've been up there four times so we just got back from what last month yeah indiana. we were in ship shawana indiana never heard of yeah on a horse and buggy everything man they came and got you on the horse and buggy no, no we flew in we drove to them <laughs> but while we were there we rode the horse and buggy ate with them visited their land you know they're good at furniture and craftsmen did all of that actually we got a big event here in october 
uh, we got the uh, we had the Porsche building by the airport, uh, the North American headquarters. We rented it out for two nights. Okay. They're all coming and you know and bringing from all home. the Amish people. Not all of them. Some of them are coming. Oh, you some of the influential okay. they're coming in. Uh, for an event we having at the Porsche. You made it sound like they was, I think they probably all coming. Don't they? No, 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 not all. <laughs> probably. Don't come together. It's only, it's only about 10 of them coming. We have several hundred people coming in, but it's only about 10 that's coming. Oh. The key, what was key it like players. over there in the Amish community? It was, it was amazing, man. We were. Relaxing. Yeah. Sitting down. That shit, like she said, it's a different world because they don't deal with technology. Uh, they don't, they get, have, they own a lot of land. They're into farming and they're into furniture. That's like, two of their key things that they do, uh, just learning about their history, sitting down with them. And you gotta keep in mind, we black, so you know, now. Keep in mind. Yeah, so they <laughs> black us <African>. Yeah. <laughs> so we there as blacks with these people and, and, and just sitting with them. And, and I'm really, I'm blown away how they've accepted us. And the fact that they don't have a problem that a black family owns this product and this company and they are pushing it the way that they are. It's mind blowing to us, but uh, it shows the favor, man, that we have in our lives. We're blessed with it. Well, I guess it only makes sense for me to ask this lady why the ladies should switch to this product. What would you tell them? Or it get makes the advantage? a huge oh. difference. Um, You're talking to them. I ain't even listening. I'm in your dad. <laughs> I'm over here with your dad, man. Tell it makes them. a huge difference because um, a lot of the products um, that's sold in the stores, it does contain harmful chemicals. And once you transition to our pads, you get to see and feel the difference. Your period is not as longer and it isn't as harsh. The cramping, your mood swings. Literally, I went from seven days to three. So literally, I'm in and out, no pain. For my damn self. Exactly. <laughs> Just in case I meet the right one. Yes. <laughs> so you definitely feel a difference when you use rain pads. How do women feel about their men showing up with pads and shit? You can just they love it. Really? They, they love it. You'll be blown away uh, how women, when you're getting in front of the room and we're doing, like I said, we do focus groups. A lot of times I'm doing the presentation. Okay. So bet. literally, like at our corporate office, we have a conference center in there with chairs where people come in and we educate them, you know, uh, about, you know, what my daughter was talking about during the demonstration. And women are blown away because they're feeling like, okay, wow, finally men are, are sensitive to this arena. Because remember, we wasn't dealing with it. We did we wasn't paying attention I, to I it. I didn't know. You know I me didn't neither. Know they wanted us to deal me with neither, it. man. Had and I then, known that they wanted us to show up with the necessities. Yeah. And they love it, myself man. a lot of trouble, probably. They love it. The yeah. fact that they feel like we care now. And yeah, it's something we, that we're concerned and about. And then you're the educating us, because my dad was the one to tell me that the product that I'm using is actually causing more harm. So just out here being a good dad. Yeah. That's the part yeah. they ain't gonna say nothing about. <laughs> They're looking out for you, baby girl. Yeah, absolutely, man. man. You stumbled up on the... the what were you doing mine. before this? Actually, we've been entrepreneurs since I got out of the Navy in 94. Okay. So I'm from New Orleans. I had a mobile detailing service. I flipped houses. I promoted concerts. Uh, man, you not sold Rolex watches. You did everything. Yeah, I'm, I was lending off good times, man. <laughs> Open my jacket, I do it. My name's Lenny. Yeah, I got it. I got plenty. Like you want. Yeah, I got, I got it. Lenny. Right, man. So that's who I was. And... Hurricane Katrina brought us here. Yeah. So I came here with my wife and my four kids. I got a son as well, uh, with two days worth of clothes. And my thing was, I wasn't looking for a job, I was looking for the business. So I wanted to know where the movers and shakers was, started networking, going to events, just making my bones here, man, and um, always looking for that next idea and, and, and found this. And, and, and this is obviously the best business I've ever been in in my life. Yes. Mm. Well, I wish you much success. And whatever y'all need from the black market over there in 85 South, you got it, man. Man, thank you for having us, brother. Thank you, oh, thank you again, man. Appreciate thank you, man. Thank you, good brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, you got to ring the bell. Let them know the black market is open. The black market is open. <laughs> but excellent spotlight, man. The black market. We right here. We out of here. 85 South.